Uh, Hi, what's right. going on, Kenny? All right. Well, on Monday, we had uh, an upgrade to the network, Agoric 7, I believe. And that happened somewhere around uh, about 9 a.m. Monday morning Pacific time. And that all happened uh, quite nicely. No, no uh, issues that I could see. The, uh, the big update from this particular upgrade is that it now enables IBC. And so there is a new um, proposal on Commonwealth to uh, get that all configured. And I think the, um, the most important point here on IBC, and this was brought up by, oh, I can't remember his name, but he's Ari, um, that it is very important that we coordinate well around opening one and only one channel from us to wherever we're, we're headed. And also uh, there's some complications with, um, or at least some things to be considered with relayers. So while I think it is technically possible to, to do right now with the upgrade, there does absolutely need to be some coordination to make sure that that all uh, happens smoothly. Yes, it, right there is it is very important. And so, but after this after this process, then we should be able to open up channels to other Cosmos uh, change, which is a big milestone for the for us. It's it's really really cool. Yeah. The um... out of curiosity, what are we connecting to? Which specific? Mean Osmosis or well, Osmosis. yeah, any chain is possible with IBC that well, any two chains with IBC can uh, um, sort of connected. But the one that's most relevant likely will be the one to Osmosis is okay. my guess, just because okay. it then allows for um, pools to be created for any tokens that exist on um, Agoric. Yeah, yeah. Um, so where's, what's it called? Um, oh yeah. Oh, is this the, yeah. So yeah, connecting to any one of those basically. Right. Um, but you'll notice that osmosis is in the middle and at the top. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that the the first Cosmos chain was called the hub, and you can imagine it being somewhere near the oh, so it's it's sort of near the middle. Yeah. Um, but then Osmosis made a, a kind of an IBC powered AMM, and that really started things moving. Yeah, the new chains tend to get a lot of uh, attention quickly as well. So you'll see like. EV mod, like that's a, a, a Ethereum virtual machine chain that is relatively new. Uh, I think Elixir is, I'm not sure how new that is, but, and Crescent is within the last six months, I think too. Um, yeah, the, uh, what was the second to last one you mentioned? Elixir? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that one's about, but I've seen it around. That's a a, a bridge to uh, Ethereum. Oh, uh, so is it that just a bridge? Oh, actually, you know what? You're right. Actually, you know what? I think XLR. they're XLR, and they're they're, but it's more than just Ethereum. They want to be right. general message passaging to all kinds of chains, right? So Bitcoin and you know Solana, whatever. Mm-hmm. Is there any idea when the Agoric AMM would be open for business? It's always on the roadmap, right? So it's currently scheduled for Q4. Um, right. So you mentioned the governance proposal that's out for voting. You can either let your validator vote for you or you can vote yourself. As people are voting. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I checked in on that yesterday and I think we needed 111 million to activate. And I think we were at something like 80 or 90, but there's a good chance we're there by now. Yeah, it's funny. You have to look at different explorers to get different different numbers. Yeah, um, this one tends to have good stuff about how close we are to quorum and stuff. Uh, 
So we have 161 million yes. And what's quorum or what's the? It's 111 million, I think, or at least the last time my last okay. place I checked. So I think that's uh, that's it. Looks good to go. And where are we just sort of? Um, so there's 33% of the total build are, are staked. Mm -hmm. In a in general, the sort of target norm is more like 60%. So it'll be good to have more, more of the build staked. I'm not sure how much of it, it can be staked right now. I don't know how much you know is in circulation or whatever. Anyway, so that's definitely going on. There's a roadmap, map of, yeah, so joining the IBC gang. Uh, oh, yeah, so it's worth sort of, so this is step zero. We have, the community has to flip this bit mm -hmm. <laughs> that turns on the governance parameter in the, in the network. And the result of this um, governance proposal is that the, the bit will just automatically get flipped at the end of the voting period. And then um, people have to start doing IBC transactions on our chain to create um, connections. And this is the part that has to be really carefully coordinated so that we don't have duplicate build tokens <clears throat> on other chains. And then um, likewise clients, the whole, I, I'm not really clear on the whole IBC protocol, so I'm not really sure what a client is, but anyway. Um, and then there's this Cosmos chain registry, which is sort of off chain coordination stuff that's just handy. Um, and then, then yeah, whatever ha you have to do on the, on the chain on the other end to make it really work. Um, so there's a process for for getting stuff set up in osmosis, I guess. Uh, there, osmosis sort of has a wild west thing with its permissionless and then a more of a process to get it on their front page or whatever. Uh, and then we need relayers to actually run the software that listens to one chain and sends stuff to the other. Um, and it's one important distinction about uh, IBC versus other sort of inner blockchain kinds of things is that we don't have to trust the relayers. Um, anybody can set one up. They they are responsible for availability. Uh, if there are no relayers running, then you can't get packets from here to there, but there's no way that a relayer can corrupt the, or you know, forge a, pro, a, a packet or something like that. What they do is they, they take all of the signatures from the validators on this side and they relay, relay them to this to the other side and the other side checks all those signatures so there's nothing that the relayer can do to screw things up to to corrupt things they can make things unavailable but if they you know if one relayer goes down you can just spin up another one you know somebody else can spin up another one and then after the relayers are all going and everything then we throw a party Yep, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so that could potentially happen as soon as next week, if depending on see. how long the vote is open, right? Yeah, the vote closes. Um, what uh, the twenty eighth at fifteen twenty five in my time zone? No, sorry, the twenty sixth. Yeah, three three days so two days basically yeah the the whole voting period is three days i guess it started yesterday so yeah so that's when step zero will be done and then uh, i thought the orgoric seven was step zero well step zero oh, i know it says at, right after the after it's step zero after the okay so yeah that's where we are 